in this video we're gonna try to find information of all cryptocurrencies so we're gonna use Yahoo Finance for that and we're gonna plot the information on a candlestick and in a pandas data frame so I will create a new folder in my projects folder and I will call it crypto prices I will create a new file I'm going to call it one and we need to import Yahoo query so we're going to say from Yahoo query if we don't have it installed we need to do pip install Yahoo query we're going to import screen and we're also going to import ticker so we're going to say comma ticker we're going to import pandas as pd and we're going to import plotly so import plotly dot graph underscore objects as we go i'm going to open a new cell and i'm going to say s equals to screener which is a built-in function in uh, yahoo query because first i'm going to screen for all the possible uh, crypto prices and I'm gonna put a maximum of 250 so he's gonna give the 250 most traded crypto assets we don't need all those um, pump and dump crypto assets we only need the 250 most liquid crypto assets so I'm gonna give an, I'm gonna add another variable data equals to s dot get screeners and here I'm gonna pass in all cryptocurrencies US and I'm gonna do comma and I'm gonna get a maximum of 250 so the 250 most popular so I'm gonna say data all cryptocurrencies US and I want to have the codes I will need this to to download the financial information of those assets so I'm going to create a dictionary and I'm going to pass in that variable And now I want to extract the symbols. So symbols equals to open the square brackets, the symbol. For D in dicts. And now I'm going to print the symbols. So this code is going to give me the 250 most liquid crypto assets. So maybe first I will run the cells. Those are the most traded. So in text editor, I can open them. So here we have the 250 most traded crypto assets. So now I'm going to download the financial information from those crypto assets and maybe for the purpose of this video I will choose Ethereum but you can choose whichever you want. We have Dogecoin, we have uh, ADA, we have Ripple, uh, Solana. So you can choose which one you want to uh, download and I'm going to say ticker and I'm going to use Ethereum. So I'm going to say ETH USD. And I'm going to say DF price equals to ticker, which is a built in function in Yahoo Query. And I'm going to say ticker. And now I'm going to do DF equals to DF price dot history. Here we can specify uh, the interval. Uh, so if you want daily data, if you want hourly data, if you want weekly data, uh, I'm going to take daily data. 
So I'm going to say interval equals to one day. Oh, I should have put it between parentheses. And I'll say period equals to, let's say, four years. So I will have the last four years of data for Ethereum and it will be daily candles. So now I'm going to open a new cell and I'm going to reset the, because right now if I would, if I will run this, Now we have, uh, we have two indexes, so we have a symbol and a date. I will reset the index and I will set the index only to the date, which I will need to plot the candlestick pattern. So I will open a new cell and I will say df1 equals to df.resetindex. And below I'm going to say df equals to df1.setindexdate set index dates and I'll print the df so you see now symbol is inside uh, the data frame and only the date is the index right now because if we would leave it like that our candlestick pattern uh, our candlestick chart wouldn't work so I'm going to open a new cell and now I'm going to plot the graph. So I'm going to say fig equals to go dot figure, which is a built in function in Plotly. And I'm going to say data equals to I'll open the square brackets go dot candlestick. And the x axis will be the date, so it will be df dot index. And the open will be df dot open. The high will be df high equals to df dot high. Low will be df dot low. And the close will be df dot close. Okay. And the name will be candlestick chart candlestick chart okay and this will work now i will adjust the graph a little bit so i'll do fig dot update layouts to set the width and the height and i'll say auto size is false auto size equals to false I'll set the width to 1400. So again, it depends on your computer, of your screen. If you have a small screen, you should set it smaller. I will say show legend equals to show and the x axis title will be dates and the y axis title will be the ticker and I'll say F and I will open the parentheses and I will open the acrobats and I will say ticker and next to it I will say price and maybe a space between so it's not going to be next to each other and I'm going to plot the graph so I'm going to write like fig.show and that should work I hope if I haven't made any mistake. So I'll run it. And that's the candlestick chart. So we have four years of information. Here we see Ethereum USD price, and here we see the date. And I will make it more dynamic in Streamlit in another video. Uh, but if you want to change, for example, this, imagine you want to have. BTC information or maybe like Solana, let's say Solana. I just rerun this code and rerun this cell. And if we're gonna do right now, look, it's automatically changed to Sol Solana because here we use ticker, we didn't say Ethereum price. But I will make it yet more dynamic in Streamlit so we can use it as a web application. 
and maybe we can put some technical indicators on it and I will see how far I will go with this uh, but this is how we can find all prices of the 250 we can change it also to 500 or 1000 and we will have 500 or 1000 cryptocurrencies but those are the 250 most liquid and probably most trustworthy crypto assets that are in the market right now okay so that's it for this video.